Hey guys, welcome back. Average Model Guy here, bringing you part, what is this, three now? Of the AMT 125th scale bulldozer. As you can see, I got my work cut out for me tonight. Uh, we're going to be putting together the, the track section, well, the, you know, drive, drive gear and road wheels and return wheels. It's like a tank tread. So what we got in store for tonight. Uh, I want to give you guys an update on the the um, actually the build so far. Um, I'm going to show you the weathering I did on the motor here. Got to, I'm beating the crap out of this one, guys. I really am. I'm not going for pretty. I went ahead and really weathered up the diamond plate. I got mud on here. Um, this guy obviously doesn't take care of this one too well. He gets it pretty dirty. Um, haven't done the detail on the seat yet. I'll get to that, and I've got this I've still got to do. I went ahead and took off the um, controls for now um, while I'm painting. I just kind of tacked them in there a little bit with glue. But I went ahead and started to rust one side of it. I want to get you guys' opinion and think if it's too much or not. But I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and show you. Um, that's what I've got for the rust so far. Um, you can see the other side of the engine that I weathered, but you know, let me know down in the comments if you think that's too much or should I um, continue on with this kind of way of doing it. Um, yeah, just let me know down in the comments field. I appreciate it. So um, I guess we'll get back to the build here, and when I come back, hopefully we'll have some of this assembled. So we'll be right back. Okay, fellas, I figure I stop back in and show you progress so far. So I think I've got one whole section done here. Um, this was a pain in the butt. Now, a little trick I did was I took some um, of my uh, tacky, oh, what's that stuff called? I don't know. It's kind of like Play-Doh. Um, simply tacky is what it's called. I got it at Hobby Lobby anyways, and I stuck it on this side of the rollers, flipped it over, and then attached this piece. That way, these things weren't going all over the place while I was um, attaching them. As you can see, the rollers can still roll just fine with that, with that stuff in there. It'll eventually dry itself out, work its self out of what I got inside there so um yeah yeah got the uh return wheel here in and it spins pretty good so hopefully when we get the track on it this whole thing will still spin pretty good so um I'll be back in a little bit with the other side all right I'm back I wanted to show you guys how exactly I did that let's put see I put that tacky in there so what I'm gonna do is flip it over and when I sit it down and start pushing these in you yeah. know it's easier if I have it actually sitting where I'm going to do it. So I guess I'll just go ahead and sit it down right here. Um, it sticks those in place. It makes it a heck of a lot easier for these pieces to stay in when I go to line up. Um, as you can see, they're staying in place. Without it, these things would be flopping all over the place. So this is just the way I did it. I mean, obviously, you guys do it the way you want. Actually, I got these two reversed. This one needs to go back here. And this one needs to go right here. Yeah. All right. Just kind of line them up like so. Just got bad boy in there like that. And then take this piece. Start it one end just kind of move them where they need to be oops take some patience to do this trust me that first one I said a few words that I shouldn't have all right Get them all lined up like so. All right, and I'll be back. I'll get it glued up, and you guys will see when it's done. All right, fellas, here's what we got. All right, we've got them on finally. Um, it was kind of a pain to do, but anyway, overall, it wasn't too bad. Um, just getting these wheels lined up using that tacky putty really helped um, keep these in while I was getting everything fit and glued together so 
yeah, overall not too bad. Um, got these pieces here. You can see what we're looking at. Again, guys, make sure you let me know if you really like that rust or not. Um, I literally like to know. Um, everything rolls. All the wheels roll, so we're good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and assemble the track and probably the blade for our ne next episode. I was going to try to get the tracks done tonight, but I think we're going to call um, call this pretty good. Yeah, I think we'll work on it and then work on some more weathering too. Um, off camera um, yeah as we go here so overall not too bad um, it's gonna be a little bit of a fit issue down here but I'll put some clamps on that and squeeze that together and that shouldn't be a problem once we get the track on I shouldn't have too much of an issue but yeah all right fellas we're gonna call this one good for now um, if you uh, like what you saw make sure you hit the uh, like button for me Leave me a comment. Let me know, please. Um, if you see I'm doing something wrong or you see I can do something better, please feel free. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, too. If you're new to the channel, I appreciate any uh, support I can get. And uh, until the next episode, guys, happy modeling. Stay safe.